roughly two years, but I have like a like a vibe of when like this one was overcooked, and just because I got real mm. busy with F is for Family, I would have liked to have taped it like about six months earlier. But it made it. Uh, I think it it made it better or whatever. Um, but I would have just as far as. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like in this business, there's there's that thing you don't want to be overexposed, but then you don't want to wait too long. So yeah. you got to try to, and then that's also not like a, oh, so and so successful and he waits X amount of time, so I'm going to do the exact thing. It's really, um, it's really like whatever you're trying to do. So it's kind of different for every different people. Like those YouTube stars, like their thing is all about just constantly putting out. Content. stuff yeah where i think the road that i'm on is you know like right now i'm out there promoting <clears> this shit and then once it comes out and everybody's seeing it and they're liking it and then i'm done promoting it then i just sort of disappear until f is for family comes out um i'm kind of a big believer in that of you know be out there when you got something that's going on don't just do shit to do shit right i call that like extra tv Hey, he's just here to be here. Right. And now he's over there. There's that guy again. Then, Because I, I find myself, people that I'm fans of starting to hate people going like, can't fucking get away from this fucking guy. <laughs> and then I'm thinking like, do I actually hate this person? Or I don't know what it is, but there's, there's definitely a tipping point.